Eric here again and I'd like to welcome you to our Thrifty Survivor YouTube channel. Now today what I'm going to cover for you is my battle belt setup uh, and I'm going to kind of get into the details as to why I have mine set up this way. You may want to have yours set up differently but uh, basically it's just kind of going to give you all an idea of uh, you know, maybe some ways that you can set up your battle belt if you aren't really experienced as far as setting up a battle belt or maybe you don't have one yet, you're kind of trying to get an idea as, for, as to what your needs might be. Uh, now, one primary, one primary reason why I really like battle belts is uh, they're really quickly put on. Uh, they're quick to deploy, if you will. Uh, it's not like a chest rig where you gotta, you know, throw this on, this on, tighten the belt and make sure everything's adjusted right uh, or, or you know a chest rig or, or even a tactical vest same thing uh, the reason now they have their their purpose they have their time and place uh, if you're out on, on a patrol mission or something like that sure I, I prefer those because you've got more real estate as far as carrying uh, you know you can carry more gear on them uh, but they do take more time to put on I use this for home defense uh, now we do have some land. We got a fair amount of land, and uh, I'm gonna probably want more than just a handgun to take care of some situations that could arise, uh, or it could even be some, you know, uh, predators out there. Uh, I'm talking about animal predators uh, that need to be dispatched. Uh, you know, uh, getting into like maybe the chicken coop or that kind of thing. Uh, that is oftentimes more easily handled with a rifle. A battle belt like this one, the way I have it set up, can handle both in-home, home defense, as well as out in, in, the, in the field, home defense of, of sorts. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna remove the belt, I'm gonna set it on the table and kinda show you how I've got it set up. But before I do that, I'm gonna mention what I've got on the back here, okay? Now, I, I hope you heard me while I had my back turned to you, but that's what's called an individual first aid kit or an IFAC. And I think that's really important on any type of battle belt uh, or any type of, uh, whether you're wearing a chest rig or, or a, a tactical vest, you want to have some kind of medical gear there that can handle the situation. And uh, anyway, this particular one is is an orca tactical and i'm gonna kind of show you what i like about it it's got a uh, little strap here to secure it yeah. okay and that pops off but it's a rip away pouch so all you do is you rip it off or rip, rip it away rather now what that does is it allows you for instance, if you can't remove your belt, or if you've got a chest rig on, or a backpack even, uh, something, now generally you're going to probably store that on your side where you can get to it more easily. But with the battle belt, I have less real estate, so I threw it on the back. But I can still get to it. Uh, now in truth, with a battle belt, you can also just remove the clip and get to it that way. But you may want to keep the belt on for whatever reason, particularly if you're, if you're attending to somebody else's wounds. Uh, you know, you might still have to <laughs> secure your property, uh, so you want to keep the belt on. You can get to this, it's in your hands, you can get right to it. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera so you can see the table. I'm going to sit down and kind of get into to the gear and why I have it set up the way I do. So sit tight, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, set this here. I'm going to grab a chair, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and remove the belt. It's that easy, and they go on just as easily. Now, I'm going to flip her over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the IFAC. Now, I'm going to sit down so you can see my head. And basically just kind of quickly get into the contents. Again, this is an Orca Tactical. This particular IFAC pouch, now it doesn't come with the contents, but the pouch itself is going to run you under $19, $18.99 as I speak to you today on Amazon. Now, this particular one, what I like about it is it's got this little, little thing, little uh, Velcro thing 
which kind of protects the zipper so you can have them up on top and you just pull the zippers down and then it just pops open everything flies out of there but it is properly secured now what i've got inside and i'm going to try to <laughs> i probably should have moved the battle belt first thing you want to grab is of course your, your nitrile gloves these nitrile gloves uh, people don't tend to be allergic to them plus they're they're a little bit less prone to punctures and i've got two pair there uh, in case one of them should get a puncture or if somebody wants to assist I got a pair for each okay and then in here instant cold pack which probably isn't the most essential gear probably some of the more essential gear here is going to be this bleed stop now what I like about this is you can pick it up at Walmart and it could really be a lifesaver what it is is a coagulating agent it will coagulate blood much more quickly than it will do on its own. And if you've got uh, profuse bleeding, uh, you can pour this on the wound and it will, it, it'll just help that seal a lot more quickly. Now, uh, which brings up another item that I got in here, and that's a tourniquet. Now this particular one is a recon medical tourniquet. And what I like about it is uh, I know that some of your EMTs are using this very brand, as well as some of your uh, uh, police, uh, and I believe some of your uh, military units also. Uh, maybe not, they might not be issuing these, but a lot of guys are getting this because it's much more affordable than the big name brand, which I'm not gonna mention. Uh, as I'm speaking to you today, these I believe are going for, uh, I believe it's like uh, maybe $17, okay? Uh, just under $17, actually $16.99, $16.98 or something like that. So I can actually get a pair of these and they're very, uh, <laughs> they've reached a point where they've been proven, okay? And uh, now here I got your, your hyphen chest seals. Now what this is designed to do is, for instance, if you've got an entry and exit wound, uh, it could be a gunshot wound or a stabbing wound where, well, anyway, this is a pair of them. Now, even just one of these can be useful. You can get these individually or as a pair. I prefer getting them as a pair because oftentimes if it's a gunshot wound, a gunshot wound, you're going to have an entry and an exit. And, uh, these are basically, they got kind of like a, a Vaseline coating on one side. You throw it on there they open up they're actually each one of these packs opens up to about the size that you're seeing here and there's two of them one for the front and one for the back now if you got a lung uh, that gets punctured uh you're gonna have to seal that off so the person can breathe and anyway i'm not going to get into the details of these but good thing to throw in there uh trauma shears now these are actually, I just picked these up at Walmart. Now I've got a better set in one of my other IFACs that I actually prefer, but uh, these are actually pretty durable and they're designed to where you can just cut clothing off of the person so that you can access the wounds. Obviously if it's up here, you're gonna have to either pull the shirt up or cut it off. Anyway, and just tweezers, uh, surgical uh, gauze here, these are uh, five by nine, so they're, they're pretty large. And this is kind of like a self-adhesive uh, uh, ace bandage here. Uh, what I like about this is you don't really need, uh, you, don't, you don't need safety pins or anything like that. This will actually, you stretch it tight. It's kind of like uh, electrician's tape. The more you stretch it, the more it sticks, okay? <laughs> anyway. A uh, good thing to have. Uh, it's not really geared as much towards trauma, but just kind of good stuff to have there. And uh, now we're getting into more of the minor stuff here. Just uh, you know, a little bit of gauze, rolled gauze, safety pins. You never know; they could be handy. And this little pouch here basically just has the stuff that you can't get to stay in in the pouches everywhere else. Uh, I got some uh, some tape, you know. Uh, basically surgical tape, band-aids, uh, uh, let me see here, antiseptic towelettes. Uh, now it's, it's a good idea to clean your hands off before and after you treat somebody because you don't want to you don't want to hurt them or yourself. 
you don't want to catch or you know anybody catching anything that you don't want anyway uh, I'm not going to get into all the stuff that's in here okay just uh, just basically just wanted to show you what I have on the back of my uh, my uh, my battle belt now on the sides here these are your condor tactical kangaroo pouches now what I like about these and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of tilt this up so you can see it better what I like about them is on the back you've got your rifle magazines and on the front these are actually designed to hold pistol mags like like I have here now I've only got one here right now usually what I'll do is I'll have at least two pistol magazines here but uh, I've thrown basically to kind of show you some options here I've thrown a knife in here these will hold a knife pretty well okay <coughs> excuse me so uh, just kind of show you there some people will actually throw a flashlight in one of these uh, so basically that takes up two you still got enough for two extra gun mags obviously you're probably going to have some one already in your pistol uh, so you can carry quite a bit of ammo there now I've got a separate flashlight here this is actually a Phoenix I believe no this isn't a Phoenix this is the pouch that came with the Phoenix flashlight and I'm using it here hold on that flashlight there on the back personally I use AR-15 you know for home defense uh, contrary to popular belief they do not over penetrate any more than a nine millimeter in a house okay uh, a brick wall if you got a brick house here uh, it's not going to go through a brick wall so uh, people outside don't have to worry if I'm taking care of business indoors anyway uh, that just kind of puts that to rest but uh, this has the ability to hold four AR-15 magazines so that's 120 rounds there and I guess that pretty much covers it uh, again what I like about these battle belts is they're really easy to put on you just <laughs> it's just throw on a belt real quick so if you hear a bump in the night it doesn't take forever to get your gear on uh, and uh, now personally I keep the gun or I keep, actually keep an extra gun in a drawer in a nightstand depending on that depending on the situation you know I might just grab that but if it really really gets bad I'm gonna throw this belt on I've got my gun I got everything I need I got ammo and I'm gonna try to make my way to one of my rifles okay and uh, then I could take care of business if it, but particularly if it's out in the field uh, you know longer distance uh, you know it, it could be a coyote getting into our critters <laughs> our personal critters that we don't want to be harmed or you know you never know it could be could be other things other other types of threats uh, anyway long story short uh, I can never make a long story short but anyway and by the way this particular battle belt it's a one targus battle belt uh, now Condor also makes some good battle belts that are affordable what I like about this one is it actually comes with the interior belt also a lot of these belts you got to be careful if you order a battle belt like this one a lot of them do not have the internal belt uh, this one came with everything for uh, under thirty three dollars was thirty two ninety eight and the quality I would say is the same as Condor it's very good quality it's gonna it's, it's gonna be able to handle the situation uh, these Condor kangaroo pouches I like these a lot these are each fourteen dollars and eighty eight cents so you double that that's what I got on here I'm just trying to break down the pricing here again uh, the the uh, Orca tactical IFAC uh, 1899 I believe it was let me see here. I got the yeah, 1899. I got the prices written down there so I can see them. Uh, this one of the more expensive items that I have thrown on here is a Serpa holster. Uh, a lot of you are familiar with them. They're very good quality, uh, but I did sense find a less expensive, uh, basically a clone to the Serpa. And the reviews that I've seen are real good on it. Uh, that particular one cost $18.99. Uh, so you compare the price to a Serpa okay and 
the they work in the same way. They're identical, really. Uh, they also come in other colors. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there for those of you. And what I'll do is I will throw links down below uh, for you to take a look at any of these things that you might be interested in. Uh, by the way, uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can visit us at thriftysurvivor.com. And uh, anything that you purchase through that, uh, we get credit for. Amazon does give us a little bit of kickback. A little bit of a kickback it does not affect your price also uh, if you just want to click on the links below same thing we get a little bit of a kickback that way or you go through any of our of our links that we provide and let's just suppose from there you want to go do some other shopping you find other things that aren't even on our website any purchases made once you've done that we get credit for so that all helps us out I just wanted to throw that out there as well anyway I want to thank you all for watching Please give us a big thumbs up, share, and uh, again, like I said, visit our website if you'd like to. Uh, I want to thank you all again. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.